What is up, YouTube? I hope uh, you're... Let's start with again. What is up, YouTube? Nearly 2016. We are in the last few days of 2015, and I hope you had a wonderful holiday, whatever that holiday was that you celebrated. I myself had a great one with my parents visiting Japan, having a good time with my kids, super enjoying their Christmas presents, which they were very happy to receive. I think they got some Thomas the Train Engine stuff. Uh, my son wanted a yo-yo. He got two yo-yos. A kendama, which is uh, that little nifty thing you bop with the red wooden ball. We got him one of those. And, uh, whoa, oh, me? What did I get? Um, I got this stuff. I got some some professional uh, juggling balls. Um, juggling is something that uh, I've been doing just as a hobby on the side. It's something that I guess uh, keeps me keeps me nice and calm. I guess because you have to focus so much when you're doing it that uh, you can uh, kind of put everything else out of your mind while you're doing it. So. It's something that I've enjoyed. This time though, I got, I have the balls now. These are like professional ones before I had some that I just made myself with uh, play pool balls with uh, acorns inside, which is yeah, pretty unprofessional. Um, I got that. I also got a uh, contact juggling ball, which I don't know if you know what this is. It's where you make it look like it's moving in air, and I, listen, I've only had it for three days. I know I suck, all right? All right, you're supposed to make it look like it's not moving at all. I have a glass one too, but I practice with the rubber one, because I drop it a lot, all right? And uh, what else see, you can do the one where you like make it float. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, oh don't think that looked very good, very sloppy still. Um, I got the rings. I've only been practicing with the rings too uh, for like a day. I don't really have enough room to be doing rings inside my house. But... Okay, that's that's enough for now. I'm about to hit the the lighting. <laughs> um, oh, and I got clubs, or some people call it pins. I pins, clubs, whatever. That's fine. Um, you know, these these are the hardest. Um, I'm having the most trouble trying to learn this. Um, I have to right now practice with just doing two. Just practice with just doing two, which even that is a bit of a challenge for me still. Just juggling two, and then you try to do two with one ball, or two. With, I'm sorry, one with two balls, and even that, even that's pretty hard for me. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right, so that's that's where I'm at right now. I suck. Um, I'm not that good. Ju the balls. I can juggle the balls. Okay, I've been juggling balls for a while, which as I continue to say that sentence over it over again, juggling balls. It just sounds horrible, but whatever. You know, um, got a couple tricks with the balls. Uh, let's see if I can back up here and do a few. Uh, so I got that lighting right over me. I've got this whole new setup and the lighting is very low, so I'm trying not to hit it. Alright, let's try here. Ooh, columns, there we go. Alright, let's try and do the, the head butt one. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Still going, okay. Let's try to do the triangle. Okay. Uh, let's try to do... Uh, uh, the two ball juggling, and then throw one through it and keep going, switch sides and do the same, oh, there we go, and uh, I'll bop it off of one hand juggling, okay, okay, there we go, uh, do I have any more tricks, I think, I think I just expended all my tricks, okay, so, that's it, for what I can do with these balls, um, I guess for me it's just fun. It's just a good relaxing hobby and I, I use it as a teaching tool too. Um, sometimes I'll draw something on the balls and uh, juggle them for a while and then when the kid says stop, I'll stop and then they have to guess what the word or number or picture is on the ball and say it in English. So good teaching tool for Japan. 
Maybe one day if I get good enough, I'll go busking and I'll record it just to do kind of a weird video. I don't know. Just because a lot of people ask me about can they busk in Japan. Well, let's go find out. Let me go do it myself and find out. Okay, so the other thing I did was I set up a nicer uh, video configuration. Is, is that the word? Is that the technical term? Configuration? Technical setup? I don't... It's Sorry, it's my first time making a video ever. This is my first video, so hi YouTube, I'm unrested. Um, so I'm trying this new setup, I'm using a, a DSLR camera, I'm using nice lighting, um, I'm blurring out the background, I'm trying to keep it as professional as I can this year. We'll see how that goes, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try and do it for every single video. Uh, while also using this to do outside footage too. Yes, I'm gonna go outside and get footage too. I'm not just gonna stay inside my house the whole time. Try to get as much outside footage as I can as well. Um, this year we're gonna continue JFAC uh, as per usual. And uh, this year though, I've thought about one way I want to look into doing JFAC a couple times is top blah blah list, like top 10, top 5 for doing different things in Japan, like how to get ready for Japan, how to travel to Japan, how to get an apartment in Japan, how to... but doing like top five things you should get ready to do, or like lists of things that you should prepare. Um, I find sometimes that when I go back and look at my videos, I'm a bit of a rambler. I go off on tangents and stuff like that, so to keep them more clean and more concise, I thought about, I want to do maybe some top five, top ten lists. Number number one video that was probably watched last year was top 10 reasons I will stay in Japan forever one of my most watched videos so people do like concise lists and I think it's because they're neat and clean okay I'm gonna have to look into doing that a little bit more um, other than that I want to just say thank you so much for everybody who's stuck with me over the past God, how many years I've been doing this now? Eight years? Seven? Seven years? I, I started the channel in 2006. I didn't actually start doing J vlogs until I think 2007, 2008. So we're looking at eight, seven or eight years that I've been doing this. So my first few videos actually weren't even J vlogs. They're just like me walking around Japan with music. Um, and as we head into 2016, um, I want to get two J facts a week. That would be the perfect goal for me to hit two JFACs a week, um, one video on weekends called Unrestology, where I'm just going to ramble about my life in Japan, but also mix it in with stuff like popular media, things going on within YouTube, um, video games I'm playing, movies I'm watching, um, which also may be Japanese as well. Uh, as well as just kind of like my own personal philosophy on things about life. Um, if, if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Let me hear some topics you'd love to hear about. Kind of like uh, Give Me a Break Man, Give Me a Flake Man's laundry videos where he just kind of rambles for a while. They'll be the kind of videos where you can turn off the video and just listen to the audio. Um, I've been talking to two other J vloggers about doing a podcast as well. I might be doing that. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time. Tried to do it earlier and I flaked out because I just ran out of time for the holidays. Um, but maybe, maybe, maybe. And, uh, let's see, anything else coming up? Oh, and I want to start a separate channel for my scary videos. So, that's what we're looking for to clean up um, the channel and just kind of make it a little more orderly. Um, if you have any more suggestions, I am totally open for it. There's a lot I need to do. I need to, number one, clean up the quality of my videos, get them all to this quality. Um, from here on out, I'd like to keep them DSLR or at least you know, high res where I can put it up 720 at worst, you know, 1080, maybe one day 4K if I, I'd have to start a Patreon for that to even be able to get the, the equipment needed to be able to do that because I just don't have the extra pocket cash to be doing 4K right now. I don't even have a computer that could handle that. <laughs> um, but people have been talking to me about doing that. I don't know. I would really rather ask how my viewers feel about me starting a Patreon before I started anything like that. Um, People can get pretty upset with what they call "quote unquote" eBaying. Where, although I feel like Patreon is really just like, do you want to pay for it or not? If not, cool. Um, one thing I'll never do is ever make a video something you have to pay to see. Um, if I were going to connect paying to any type of video, 
I would say a person could pay to have a certain video made, um, but then it would still be free for everyone. That's the, that's the farthest I would ever go. Uh, I would never put my videos under a paywall because I started free and I feel as though I will always be free and never make my content something anyone would ever have to pay for uh, to see. I really, I really don't think much of my videos are worth that kind of quality to ask somebody to pay for them. That would be a little ridiculous. Um, other than that, as we start this new year, um, as always, I'm open to any and all suggestions. I'm very, very open to you guys sending more and more headlines and news articles that you are interested in different Japanese uh, newspapers or even things like Kotaku, which report on Japan. Um, I am really open to all those types of, those were great. And also, another thing I never even mentioned before what people sent me was memes they see about Japan on the internet. Um, they've been sending me those with all these different like quotes and articles in it and then kind of letting me decipher whether or not they're real or fake or made up or whatever. That was really an interesting uh, new journey that I took last year. It was something I didn't suggest, it was you guys created that, you guys made that up, which is awesome. I always leave it up to my viewers to make up some of the most creative ways to make these videos, and that was one of them. Man, you guys really blew me away with that one. So keep sending those too, and uh, let's head into 2016 uh, with the best attitude we can. Maybe I'll get another No Nake November in there, maybe I'll do a different month of just positive videos. I want to try and keep this year even more positive than last year. I want to keep it upbeat, I want to keep it... Uh, getting people motivated about Japan uh, or things that they'll enjoy about Japan, even people who are never going to travel here or see Japan, just making sure they get kind of an insight into some of the stuff that are hidden kind of in the niches, nicks, nooks and crannies of Japan that are hard to find and see because sometimes even I find things like that where I'm like, wow, I never even knew this existed in Japan or this video or this anime or this manga or whatever. And I want to get people more interested in stuff like that too. So, thank you so much for an awesome year of 2015. Looking forward to 2016. Guys, have a great day. I will see you on the next JFAC.